Hello, once again, welcome to Audio Tech. I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing looking login form using HTML and then what? Bootstrap. HTML simply stands for Hypertext Markup Language and it allows you to create web pages and you can also use CSS to style up those pages. And we're going to do all the design and then the alignment using Bootstrap. Bootstrap is the, I would say Bootstrap is the most popular CSS framework for developing responsive and mobile first websites. So Bootstrap will allow you to create a website that will be responsive on any mobile device. So that's what we're going to do in this video tutorial. We're going to create this amazing looking form. You can see if you click on the label, it makes what the text box focus. And then you can also click inside the text boxes as well. And then we have what our submit button. So this is what we're going to create. And this is going to be a series of video. And this is just one part of it. So consider subscribing so that you don't miss those videos as well. I'm going to show you how to create the registration system. We'll create a database and then I'll show you how we can connect to the database. And we can do some few registrations using our registration form. So it's going to be a lot of amazing and exciting video you don't want to miss. So let's start and see how we can create this. For Bootstrap, in order to follow along with me, you need to actually get a Bootstrap for the Bootstrap website. So if you go to this site called getbootstrap.com, you can you can be able to download Bootstrap from you. You can see the download button. It gives you option to download the Bootstrap. The time I'm recording this video, Bootstrap is having the version 5.1.3. So you can see that over here. You can download any version you want. So you can see we have other old versions around that you can select and then download. But I recommend you stick to the Bootstrap 5.1.3. That is what I'm going to use in this video. When you click on this download button, it's going to download the Bootstrap in the zip format for you. And you actually need to extract it. Or you can just use the CDN, which we call content delivery network with this you can include it within the header of your html and then use it but in this case you need to have internet connected before you can use that so when you click on the download it's going to give you some file like this so i'm going to look for i've downloaded it and it's already at my download folder if i go to compressed folder you can see you have the bootstrap folder over here so first extract this when you extract you should get this folder so open this folder all we need from this folder is to go to the css and then copy the first one that's the bootstrap it's going to be bootstrap.css that's the cascading style sheet we'll talk more about that later but let's see how we can create this form so you copy this folder that's the bootstrap.css copy the first one and then you're working folder we've created a folder i've actually created a folder called, here, called the rec app so i'm just going to say registration app and then we'll be doing more with this so i created a folder in called css and then i have my first page which is the index page so I pasted the bootstrap folder within that. So come back to my code editor. That is the code that achieved this result for me. So what you can see over here, that is the code that I used to achieve that result. So we're going to write, we write this code and I'm going to display, and I'm going to explain everything line by line for you to see how I actually achieved that. So stay tuned for this. In order to create a new one we need to create a new folder so i'm going to go to file or click on file and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to call this one new dot what html so this is a new file we're going to work with if you are using vs code editor you can just press the shift and then the one on your keyboard and it's going to give you this exclamation sign just hit the tab key on your keyboard and it's going to generate this template for you you can just change the title that's the title we say login form let's just call it login form that is what we're going to do so once this is created if you go back to your folder on your desktop go back to your folder this so you can see we have the registration app folder so this is it you can see this new folder new file i created is here so you can open this in the browser and then you can monitor what exactly you are doing so for now we don't have anything here so we're just going to leave it as it is and then once we do we just reload this page and we'll see the progress of whatever we are doing so we have our major work and then we're going to create a new new project from scratch the first thing we need to do is to link our bootstrap to our header in order to do that we have to come down here within the header and say link so i'm going to select this first option so if you're using 
this vlc code editor is going to actually give you flexibility around writing code so i'm just going to clear this you can see my css is in the folder core if i click the drop down you can see my bootstrap is in the folder called css so first i'll have to target that folder that's the css slash you can see automatically to detect the bootstrap the content of that folder so i'll just select that so all the changes and every adjustment you are going to do will be within what this bootstrap okay bootstrap.css so we just go to our body and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a division that's called div and then we're going to create a container we'll make sure everything we are doing is in a container so i'm going to say class and i call that one container okay so within this container we're going to create just one row okay we'll create a one row and say div we'll create another div and say class we'll call it what row Okay. that is all we need up to this stage and then within our rule i'm going to create this particular login using a card you may not understand what a card is but it's also a bootstrap class that we can use to create an amazing stuff and we'll talk more about bootstrap in another video so i'm going to say div and i'm going to create my class so my class name is going to be what we call card this way and my card is going to have a header body and we want to include a footer you can also do that as well but in this case i want to first add the header of my card so i'm going to say class card header okay so that is it and within the header i'm going to say login form i'm going to give a header type of two we we'll say login form okay so now up to this stage let's see if indeed we are making some progress i'm just going to reload this page and you can see up to this stage we have our login form within the header of our card okay we can change the background of this form and then we can see what is happening so we can just within the header you can just say bg primary so if i give bg prime what this means is that the background should be what a primary color and then i'm going to display this again let me just reload this and you can see the background of this particular header of my card and i also want to do some few adjustments as well i also want to see text i want to see text white what this means is that my text is going to change from black to white so you can see white and i want to center align it and i'm also going to use another class called text center okay i'm going to use this first property text center and it's going to align my text in the center over here that is amazing up to this stage but our login form is too big and all we need to do now do is that our card is very big up to this stage the card is too big and then we want to change the width of the card so i'm going to set it to 25 so if i go back here i'll target my card and say w that's what it means it's width and i'll say 25 so if i set this to 25 and i go back and reload this my form should be smaller okay you can see everything is not taking shape we want to actually align everything in the center then we can see whatever we are doing but before that let me create the body of my my card so i'll come down here create another div and then within this div i'm going to give it a class i'm going to say card card body so within this body that's where i'm going to have my form so i'm going to say form and then we're going to we are not going to set any action for now into this form but i'm going to set up the method in my videos to come what we'll do is that we'll try and then submit this form after we have the registration and everything so this is going to be relevant in videos to come but for now i'm just going to leave the action empty and then we're going to create another div i want to create a form group so I'm going to say class another property in CSS and in Bootstrap. I'm going to say form words dash group form dash group. And within this form group, all we're going to do is that we're now going to organize our labels and then the input. So I'm going to say label for the first label is going to be email, and then I'm going to put the email over here. I'm going to say email, and let's reload this and monitor our progress. So we now have our email over here and we have we are now going to create our text box so come down here and then we can see input 
we're going to say text box and we're going to use under bootstrap properties called class we call it form control okay so this under bootstrap property so when i come back here and i reload this page you can see we now have our form even if you click on the text nothing is happening but we click on the form we can what's active so what we need to do is that we can link this form the link we can link the label to the form once we click on the label it will make this form what's active or focus so we can just go ahead and then the label the id we can just assign another id to our form and we can call it the same name email just some around when we go back and reload this form and then we click on the label we can see our form is active let's try ahead and then try and then pushing everything in the center then we focus on the rest of the project to do that we have to give our container a vertical height of 100 percent so vh means vertical height of 100 percent and then we'll give our row our center align everything so before that we'll give a height of our row to be what 100 percent okay we'll give that height and then we'll go ahead and say justify content is going to be what center so that is what we want and we go back here we're going to reload you can see we have everything centered up to this stage but we first need to do something you can see the width have stretched all the way down and we're going to set the top and the bottom to auto so in order to do that we have to target our card and this is our card and i'm going to see my which means both that's the top and bottom is going to be auto so we're going to click on this and then reload this you can see everything is now perfectly aligned at the center so let's just go ahead and create the remaining part of this particular login form remember to subscribe and if you like this video don't forget to turn on the notification bell and also share with friends like as well so we're going to create the password part of this or we can just go ahead and then just copy this part that's the first form group Control D or we just copy and then paste down here and then I'm going to change this one to what password password and this side is going to be what password it's going to be password and we come down here it's no more going to be no more going to be text but what password then our id to set it to what password okay and then we're just going to stick to the form control and i believe we are set up to the stage so we have to put a quote before this and if i go back and then I reload this you can see we now have what we call our email and then what the password so we just go ahead and then set up our login form so we can just go ahead and copy this again and the form control this tomorrow all we need here is i'm just going to put a break over here i just want to put a break after this just to create some space you can see this the, the space between the two is very closed so i just want to give it some space and i've done that and then there's some space between them i put two spaces i'm just going to clear one for now i just duplicate this so my in password is going to be the it's going to be two so i'm going to remove one break over here and over here instead of password again it's going to be what input it's going to be submit it's going to be submit and we're going to set up a value so the value is going to be log in so it's going to be what log in so that is it and if i go back to reload this you can see now we have what we now have our button down here but before that also i'm just going to give it i'm going to give another break over here i'm going to give another break over here and we're going to set up a background color for this particular input text 
you can see we have it appearing to be a gray color and then we want to use the bootstrap properties on this particular button and to do that we're going to use a button class so i'm going to say class btn simply button so i'm going to say btn dash what primary so we set the first one this is going to make our button look more amazing okay you can see we now have a better button we can decide to have this button a full width if you can see our final project this button occupy the entire space available we can't actually do that property so we're going to give the width 100 percent so we're going to say w dash what 100 that's 100 percent and this time around our button should be what 100 percent so you can see this is actually looking better now and the last thing i'm going to do is to give a shadow to my card if you notice our final project is having what a card it's having a shadow and then we can give a shadow property to our card and it's going to make it look more even what better so let's go ahead and then give a, a shadow to our card in order to add a shadow we go back and then target our card so this is the card created our card over here and we're going to say shadow and we're going to say we're going to give it a pattern so the pattern is going to be three the pattern around this so we'll assign a shadow to this we'll go back to reload this so you can see we now have a shadow around our login form if i try to zoom in you can see our final project our final project is looking amazing so this is how to create a very simple login form using html and and then what bootstrap and like i said we're also going to create the login system the registration system and it's going to be very amazing in order not to miss that turn on the notification bell so you stick to that and then see how i'm going to create the login form the registration form and then from there we'll go ahead and then also then we'll go ahead and also create a database and then see how we can register members onto that system thank you so much for watching this short tutorial like come your way again stay safe and i wish you a merry christmas and a prosperous new year in advance bye bye